today we're going to work on our stocking ornament. Our pattern is available for free when you subscribe to the newsletter and you'll receive it in your email. If you have any trouble with that, just email us. You're going to start by cutting it out. Also, just make sure that your one inch square is truly an inch. And that's how you know you've printed it at the right size. This is the cuff piece. And as you can see here, this is on the fold. So make sure you place your piece on the fold. So I have my fabric here. I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to place the fold line right on the actual fold. You can pin it in place or you can put a paperweight and trace it with chalk and you're going to cut out your piece. So here I have two pieces already cut out. For the cuff I find it's nicer to have something fuzzy like this is minky or you can use fleece or you can even use velvet. In this ornament here we use the minky and this is how it looks with the velvet. For these ornaments, I recommend stretchy fabric. It doesn't have to be stretchy. You can use woven, but because it's such a small piece, it's just easier to sew when it's stretchy and it's easier to put the cuff on. These fabrics you see here come from our scrap bundles and you can find them on the website. They're all around this size and they come in sparkly, velvets, satins. Most of them are stretchy and you get about 12 pieces. So we really recommend those packs for these ornaments because you can get a whole bunch made. These all come from the scrap packs and they're actually sample fabrics. So they're super high quality, but they have such small pieces that it's perfect for these kind of small projects. So before you sew, make sure you have the two sock pieces. Put them right side to right side. And then the two cuff pieces, again, right side to right side. You're gonna go sew here, sew here, and then the socks sew all around. Leave the top open. It's time to sew. We're going to start with the cuff and sew the long sides. So now that you've sewn both sides of the cuff piece, you're going to bring it right side out. So fold it over and just bring it down. And here you want to match up the seams, clip it in place. This side too, clip in place. So at this point, you can also do a stay stitch. So just set your state stitch length to a four and sew all around just so that it stays in place and it's less finicky. I'm just gonna keep it clipped. Now we're gonna sew the sock piece. Again, just go all around and leave the top open. Now that you've sewn the sock, it's time to attach the ribbon. So take a four inch piece of ribbon or bias tape or gross grain like this. You're going to find the center back seam and you're going to pin the ribbon in place here like that. Now that you've clipped the ribbon in place, it's time to attach the cuff. You're gonna take it over the sock and make sure that it's still inside out. So match up the seams. So that's the front. And clip these together. Center back. 
put those together. You're going to remove the cuff clip and then put this one on both. Just make sure you don't lose your ribbon. Make sure it stays in place. This is why it's good to stay stitch the cuff because it is a bit tricky to make sure you catch all three layers when you sew. So as you see now, going all around, we have three layers to sew together. So we'll start. So now you have the cuff attached to the sock. Make sure you caught all three layers. And then you're going to turn the whole thing right side out. Like that. If you have an overlock, you can finish this edge with the overlock. Once you've done that, fold it over like this. And then adjust it. And now you can see the little loop coming out the back. And you're done. Isn't that cute? Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. You can have a lot of fun with these ornaments. Experiment with different fabric weights, colors, textures, add a little bow at the edge, stuff them with pine needles. Not only are they great ornaments, but they're good for wrapping up gifts. So if you need to give a small gift to let's say a teacher or coworker or friend, you can fit quite a few things inside here. You can put candy, pens, I even have a little headband inside. They're tiny, but they fit quite a bit. You can put a gift card in even. And then the wrapping itself is an ornament. So you're saving paper. You have a cute little gift.